Hi everyone, my name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I am gonna solve an important question which was asked in the recent interview of Tiger Analytics. Okay, and I got this question from a LinkedIn post, so thought to solve this question from my way. Okay, so let's get started. Before going to that, since it's a year end, I am providing a 35% off on all the courses available on Geek Coders. You can check out the post here and all the links are given over here. I will also provide the same in the description box of this video so that you can go and check out the course. And if you're interested, you can enroll into it. Chalo. Let's go back here and uh, I try to solve this problem. So what is the problem over here? The problem is there is a data given and the columns are app id event type timestamp and the data look like this app id event type timestamp right now what we need to do we need to find out a ctr ctr for each app id okay so what is the formula of the ctr is number of clicks divided by number of impression into 100 okay so we'll see how we can do that now try to understand the question first look into the data and see how we can solve it it's not like you know uh, whenever you get the question and uh, start uh, solving the question it will not gonna help you anymore so better what will you do see i have i told you that hey we need to find out a uh, ctr so what the ctr means count of impression sorry count of click versus count of impression so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna create a new data frame and i'm gonna use here group by and i'm gonna use here app underscore id okay and event type nice now if I uh, hit the button, you will see now we have like app ID event type. So for each app ID, uh, for each event, we have a count now. So for app ID 1, 2, 3, event type impression, we have count 2. For 1, 2, 3, app ID uh, uh, event type is click and the count is 1 and so, so, so things, right? <coughs> now what we have to do, we have to find out the sum of the sum of each uh, event type right so generally what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna create a new data frame on top of the df underscore one and uh, what i'm gonna use i'm gonna use again group by app id because i have to uh, show or i i have to find out the result based on the app id that's why i'm every time i'm using group by in group by i'm using a app id too now there is a function called pivot in pivot what column i will uh, do uh, i will pass event type okay and it has to be converted into what it has to be converted into these two values right impression and click so i'll just put here like this and when we use a group i mean when we use a pivot or when we use a group by there should be a, a aggregation function so i will use here sum right count okay so this is a column right so i have to use this before it was uh, uh, treating as a function nice but i have to also show a display of df2 very good now you will see we have app id impression and number of clicks and number of impression number of click based on the app id now it is very simple to uh, you know uh, find out the ctr right so i will use df3 df underscore 2 dot group by 
uh, is it required goodbye goodbye is not required right so i will use i will create a new column called ctr and uh, i will use click so call of click divide by call of impression into 100 i hope this is only the formula and i just use display df underscore 3 Now you can see we have the output now we do not want impression and click columns over here so we have two things you know either you uh, use a drop command to you know drop the uh, drop the columns or you can select the specific columns so for now you know i do not need it so i can you know delete those columns impression and click Here we go right now if you want to uh, sort it based on ctr then you can also do it uh, it depends on you or based on app id whatever okay so i hope that you understood this question and this is a very important question and you know you might you i i i believe that you understood the concept of pivot like use a group by pivot function column type the values and any aggregation function you can use you know some max mean average count whatever you know based on the business logic right i hope you understood it and will meet you in the next lecture till then thank you bye bye and happy new year in advance